I'm here today at the Virtual Reality Institute of Health and Exercise at San Francisco State University because I really want to know, can virtual reality give me as good a workout as taking a jog around my block or riding on a bike? The experts at the VR Institute are going to help me evaluate four popular VR apps using this Oculus headset. Supernatural, Fit XR, Until You Fall, and Thrill of the Fight. Let's find out how these VR workouts compare. I'm putting on sensors to measure my oxygen use and heart rate. These will help the team find out my MET score or metabolic equivalent of task. One MET means I'm sitting down resting, while biking might get me a MET score of around eight. It's really easy to stay engaged in these workouts because they're gamified. So not only am I thinking about moving my body around, I'm also thinking about winning. So in Supernatural, I'm slicing through flying orbs as I stand on what appears to be a futuristic foreign planet. In Thrill of the Fight, I'm punching anybody who gets in my way, something I sadly never get to do in real life. The graphics are in 3D and they take up my entire field of vision, so it feels pretty real. And after a few minutes in these apps, I'm really sweating. As you can probably tell, those workouts got me sweating. But are they effective enough to justify buying a $300 headset for at-home fitness? Based just on my personal data, these apps are a serious workout. Apparently, thrill of the fight requires even more exertion than cross-country skiing. But here are the official MET results based on the lab's broader research. At the most vigorous, Supernatural scored 11.44 METs. Right behind it, Thrill of the Fight scored 9.28. That means both of those games were about equivalent to riding a bike. Fit XR scored 7.94, and Until You Fall scored 6.5. Both of those apps were about the same as playing tennis. So that means all four of these VR workouts are comparable to common offline exercise, but with one big difference. I was so focused on playing, I didn't realize how hard I was working out. Throughout the process, I consistently underestimated my own exertion. For what it's worth, the hardest workout by far was Thrill of the Fight. It felt like I was really there in the ring, just minus any bloody noses. To do these workouts at home, all I'd need is some workout clothes, enough room to move around safely, and this $300 headset. Would you, or do you already, work out in a virtual reality app? Do the privacy implications of letting Meta into your house and onto your body make the whole thing a little suspicious? Tell me what you think at your help desk at washpost.com.